this turned out so cute okay like i think this is highlighted right here you know it's a pigment but you're gonna see it's tutorial it's, it's just all cute okay but welcome to my channel okay i've been gone i'm trying to save this whole two video a week thing but sometimes i get busy and we only get one video okay but we here now all right so all that matters okay so hit the subscribe button comment like share um Turn the notification bell, okay? Hit the subscribe button, watch this video, watch some more videos. And you know, this, this is just real cute. I don't know how I feel about the lid. I think I should have made it white instead, but it's still cute, so it don't matter, okay? Okay, so the first two we're gonna use is orange soda and black cherry. And this is such a rose slush palette. Y'all already know what this. Okay, so we're going into the orange soda first. Now I already prepped my lids with the Naked Revolution concealer in the shade C8. And this is the BH Cosmetics B8 brush, part of vegan brush today. It's like one of my favorite, favorite brushes. Okay, next we're going into Sour Cherry. I call it a black tree, but it's called Sour Cherry. And I'm like kind of obsessed with this color scheme right now. Just because it's spring. And yeah, like I just want to do orange and yellow and pink and stuff. I mean, that's what I usually do anyway. But still, like right now, it's just real cute. Okay. rose palette i love it so much because it's so pigmented like it's like a light the colors are light but they dark at the same time you can build them up so i just love it and i'm just going back in with the brush with the orange on it just to blend that burgundy and this is sauce is the red right there and we will put that in the face Okay, and then I'm just adding black as usual in my crease just to deepen it up. And when I cut my crease, it's gonna be more defined. You may be see everything. And you can use any black eyeshadow. Okay, then I'm gonna cut my crease with the Pete Louise base and Rumble 2.
Okay, and then I'm going back in with that black. It's going to grab my outer corner and then blend the red next to it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this beige color right here from the Prissy Paint Cosmetics palette, and the black that I was using is also from this palette. And the brush I'm using is a Morphe 167, and this is also a good brush to cut the crease with. Okay, so I'm gonna put two pigments on my eye. Uh, the first one is the Daily Room Pigment White Gold, and the second one is, uh, I don't know the name of it, but it's a purple with iridescent pigment. It's from Baddie Cosmetics. Okay, all of it be in the description box, okay? Okay, so then for liners, I'm gonna take the NYX Matte Black Look Liner, what I'm always using, and then the Vivid Brights, also from NYX and Vivid Violet. Why does this look? This is purple, okay? It looks blue in the screen, but it's purple. Okay, so for my inner corner, I'm going to the Juice Place Worry Palette and take, I have no idea what this shade is called, but it's the Champagne Shimmer that's right there in the middle. Okay, and I'm also taking some of that white gold and pop it in there. Okay, and so for highlighter, that purple iridescent pigment that I put in my lid a little bit, I'm going to take that and use it as a highlighter. And then I already highlighted the rest of my face with Juice Place Nicotine. Okay, so I'm Okay, like forget buying highlighters, just get you some buying pigments, okay? Same thing. So good.
Okay, so this is the NYX Soft Matte Whipped Cream in Cario or Cario or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to take the Fenty Gloss. This is the first one she came out with. I need to get dressed in her. 